Once you've received the fuel and tested it, the last step is getting it to the flight line and loaded on aircraft. The fuels management branch has two methods to accomplish this. The first is via large fuel trucks. Soon after maintenance calls saying an aircraft needs fuel, the fuels dispatcher sends a truck within minutes. The majority of their 18 truck fleet is filled all the time, waiting for the call. However, some trucks remain empty for the occasional defueling operation. Once at the aircraft, safety takes front seat. Checklists are strictly followed to ensure static lines are hooked up properly and everything runs smoothly. For safety reasons, it takes two people to refuel an aircraft. The aircraft crew chief hooks up the refueling hose and signals the driver, who actually runs the truck's controls. Once the bird is topped off, the hose is reeled in, static lines are disconnected, and the truck goes to the refueling stand for replenishment. Drivers also do quite a lot of paperwork. An inventory trail follows fuel from storage tank to the truck and then to the respective aircraft. The second way aircraft are refueled eliminates the truck. Pilots drive their aircraft into a shelter called a flow-through. There, fuel specialists and crew chiefs can refuel the aircraft while the engines are still running. Once the aircraft is chalked, they pull out a fuel dolly from the wall and hook up. While it's much easier to refuel this way, it's also much more dangerous. However, most fuel specialists prefer it over driving the trucks. Within minutes, the pilot is once again back in the air and in the thick of things. For Mosan, I'm Sergeant J.D. Harrington, AFKN News.